Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first entry of our Captain's Chair vlog series, uh, where we'll explore various topics that affect MSPs by asking industry experts and business leaders to share their brief insights. Uh, so today we welcome Pratik Roy Chowdhury. Uh, he is the president and CEO of Consortium, uh, which is a Tampa-based MSP. Uh, Pratik acquired uh, Consortium in 2013 when uh, they were originally a break-fix organization. They moved to an MSP. Uh, and since then, they've uh, grown roughly 400% revenue, which is very impressive, from roughly 1 million to just north of 4.4 4 million, I think it was, in 2019. So, uh, Pratik, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so today, we're planning on discuss, uh, discussing establishing better customer experience, as well as enhancing uh, customer engagement uh, with your clients, as far as MSPs go. So, Pratik, tell us a little bit about your organization and uh, the target market that you typically focus on. Sure. So we're a, a pure play IT managed services company, um, but we focus primarily on digital transformation. So our fundamental belief is that uh, the SMB market can truly leverage technology to create a competitive advantage. And we strive to deliver that every day to the SMB market. Um, our target market uh, uh, varies, uh, ranges anywhere from 50 employees and goes up to about 250, 300 employees. That's kind of our sweet spot. Uh, primarily offer three main lines of services. Uh, manage IT, secure IT, and then transform IT, which is our VCIO uh, offering. Awesome. Yeah, so it sounds like you have a full suite of services that you guys offer. So, you know, that being said, I think a lot of our uh, audience here is going to have very similar challenges they probably face. So what are some of the traditional challenges that you face with uh, your existing client base? And, uh, you know, uh, we'll kind of go into how we overcome those as well. Sure. You know, the fundamental challenge is, is really gaining trust. It, it all comes down to gaining trust with the clients. And that's kind of the unwritten currency in, in, in the industry. And, um, you know, we talk about clients are not moving on the cloud or they don't want to do Office 365 or they don't want to invest in a certain security platform. But it all fundamentally comes down to, we believe, is creating that, that level of trust with the client. And um, so that's one of the challenges we face. Some other challenges we face are, you know, the SMB space is, is kind of, um, you know, they, they tend to get, they tend to try to get more ROI for, from their IT investments, which, um, which, which really forces them to continue to hold on to aging hardware. And sometimes they don't really understand that um, there's a law of diminishing returns. You know, if you hold on to aging hardware, you're losing money on unproductive assets, you go down, and uh, really it's the MSB's job to kind of explain that through data. Um, kind of a third challenge we face is this is the focus on security and backup and disaster recovery. Um, the SMB market uh, tends to um, not invest uh, as much as we would like them to. Um, so really, uh, those three things uh, tend to become major challenges. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to, to, to delivering and, and establishing that trust uh, with, with the client. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'd imagine that, uh, you know, uh, quite a few people face all these similar challenges, right? In a small, uh, medium business space, they uh, uh, there's some challenges with uh, budgeting and whatnot. So I know how that goes. So, uh, how are you working to overcome some of those challenges, enhance customer experience, to um, you know kind of achieve better engagement? Yeah, we we kind of changed our model to really rely on data and transparency to gain the client's trust. We thought the best way to gain that trust is using data from their systems and provide 100% transparency. And, you know, sometimes it's our fault and we, we, we show that, but we always rely on, on unadulterated, undoctored data to, to provide that transparency. And, um, you know, setting up milestones, setting up the leveraging a very, very regimented QBR, or sometimes we do, you know, for smaller clients, we do an annual business review. Um, but, but having a regimented process to kind of define that and, and lay out the IT roadmap uh, and then executing to the roadmap. Uh, is what kind of helps drive uh, um, gaining that trust, which, which again, that those are some of the things we use to um, kind of, kind of get over those objections and those hurdles. Absolutely, yeah. So, what would be some of your suggestions for other MSPs facing similar challenges, uh, you know, within the space? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost is build the trust. Once you build the trust, you can really, really be a good uh, partner with with your client, and you can really uh, advise them on the IT strategy. So it's very, very important to, to build that trust using some level of data and transparency. Second is um, have a formal QBR, ABR. If you don't have the time to do a quarterly business review, do a, a you know once every six months. But 
get in front of the client and lay out the IT roadmap. The fundamental issue that we run into is not laying out the IT roadmap in advance and then executing to the roadmap, you know, continually going back to the clients and saying, this is the roadmap, this is what we've done, these were my parts, I've completed those, these are your parts, you need to invest in it to make sure that we stay true to the roadmap. And getting that buy-in on the roadmap and delivering to the roadmap is what really makes it makes an account profitable or, or, or not. Yeah, absolutely, I think, you know, what you're mentioning is basically setting expectations for clients, right? right. I think you know, that's the biggest thing that uh, as MSPs, uh, continue to grow and face these challenges. Just make sure that you're setting expectations up front. I think uh, it'll lead to success. So, Pratik, Absolutely. thanks for joining us today, um, sharing your insights. And uh, until next time, we'll plan on continuing this Captain's Blog uh, series every couple of weeks. So until next time, signing off. Thanks. Thank you.